Hey everyone, in this problem we have a circuit in which three resistors are connected in parallel. Part A of the problem asks us to find the equivalent resistance of the whole circuit. So when we have resistors connected in parallel, the equivalent resistance is equal to just the sum of the resistance of each of those circuits. So if we label each of the resistors with subscripts 1, 2, and 3, then the equivalent resistance, R sub equivalent, is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. Conveniently for us, all three of the resistors have the exact same resistance, 9 ohms, as given to us in the problem. So we can just simply multiply 3 by 9 ohms which of course is equal to 27 ohms. That's the answer to part A. That is the equivalent resistance through the circuit. Part B asks us to find the current through each individual resistor. This can simply be done using, cool, using a Ohm's law, which tells us that the voltage or a potential difference is equal to the current times the resistance so solving for current, it becomes the current is equal to the potential difference, let me add it over here for consistency, divided by the resistance. Now we can use this, in the context of this problem, we can use this a couple different ways. One way we could do it, uh, and the reason why we can do it two different ways, is because of the fact that this is a circuit where all three resistors have the exact same resistance. So one way we could do it is by dividing the voltage of the battery that we're given, 12 volts, and then dividing it by 3 if we assume that the voltage drop is going to be the same over each resistor. So 12 volts divided by 3 is 4, and then divide it by the resistor of just one of the resistances, 9 ohms, and then put that into our calculator. But another way we could do it is by going across the entire circuit and dividing 12 volts, the voltage of the battery, by the equivalent resistance of the entire circuit. Either of these ways of looking at it could work, and they both give us an answer of about 0 0.44, and then this 4 repeated, amperes. And so that is the current across one individual resistor. Finally, part C asks us to do the same thing, but where all three resistors are in parallel across the battery. Now, if the resistors are in parallel, then you can't find the equivalent resistance by adding them together. The equation looks a little different, where 1 divided by the equivalent resistance is equal to the sum of the reciprocals. So it's equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R3 or R2, I guess, it should go sequentially, plus 1 over R3. So this is equal to 1 over 9 ohms, plus 1 over 9 ohms, plus 1 over 9 ohms, which of course can be simplified, it's more, more simply written as 3 over 9 ohms. And if we're trying to solve for the equivalent resistance, then we can take the inverse of that, and say that the equivalent resistance across the circuit is equal to 9 ohms divided by 3, which just equal to 3 ohms. So the equivalent resistance across the circuit is 3 ohms, which is the parallel version of part A of the problem. Now for the parallel version of part B, we'll again have to do things a little differently. First off, according to Ohm's law, the current can be found by current I equals delta V, potential difference, over resistance R. But because the circuit's in parallel now, the voltage drop across each of the resistors is going to be the same, and, and there is going to be no difference. So instead, the way I'm going to do this is just divide the total voltage of the battery, and then divide it by the actual voltage of just one of the resistors, 9 ohms. So 12 volts divided by 9 ohms. So if you put that into your calculator, then you find a current of about 1.3 amps. And that's it for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. 
If it did, please consider subscribing, as that'll help me out in making more videos like this. And if you have a request for a future video, leave a comment down below. Or if you'd just like to hang out, my Discord server and a Twitch page are both linked in the description. So check those out if you'd like. That's all for now, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.